Hey YouTube, what's up? Got a Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys today, and I'll show you how to make a basic video to upload to YouTube. So first, you're gonna want to go to File, Import, Media. If it's a game clip, it's probably in your Fraps folder on your computer. If you're using uh, computer games gameplay, here I'll just import some. Red Faction Gorilla gameplay I recorded. It's probably gonna build peaks. Okay, what you're gonna do is select both, hold down control. You're gonna drag them down here. You can obviously see mine is widescreened, and here is how to fix that. You go right here, event pan slash crop. You go to maintain aspect ratio and source. Select no. Same thing with this part. Now, if you want to do a commentary, you're going to want to turn down the volume to around 26 to 30. And once you're done with that, for me, I have to go to Vegas. For some people, if your computer shuts off in the middle of it, of rendering it out, you're gonna have to set it to two cores if you're using quad core, one core if you're using dual core. And if it shuts off while using a single core, well, that just is it shouldn't turn off. Anyways, once you do some color corrections, whatever you want, something. You want to go to File, Render As. Select where you want it. Well, you don't want to name it. I don't care how to spell it. Anyways, you want to go to Windows Media Video V11. You should go to the default template. Go to Custom. The audio should be the same. For me, I'd choose, so it's not so big of a file, I'd choose 80, 80 kilobytes a second. And for mode, you're going to want to do quality VBR. Leave that the same for image size. You want to go to custom. 1280 by 720. You're going to want to set the pixel to square so it's full screen. You can set the quality of what you want. The more quality, the higher the file, the longer it is to upload. I do mine around 79. For project, you're probably going to want to use best. you got going to want to include audio. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to click OK. Render. Well, it's rendering out. Uh, you uh, it should take a long time if you're using a single core not so long if you're using a dual core if you're doing the settings like I am for this it's not going to take uh, super long but for quad core if you're using all four cores with a very good cooler then you shouldn't set to two if it turns off just do that anyways it's going to render out and this is the, uh, this has been a video by Chubby Islamis so if you guys could please subscribe leave a comment thumbs up the video really appreciate it so see you guys later